Hello everyone, welcome back to Stalker Call of Privet with a Misery Mod. Alright, so I sorted through everything in my inventory. Everything that I had hauled from Skadovsk. And... So here's what I did. I basically just sold... Pretty much everything, well most things. Not everything, but most things. Uh, I sold my weapons, most of them. I'm not quite sure what I kept. I know I kept my shotgun. Let me check. Yeah, okay, this... I, it's not even worth selling. I don't even know if I can sell it. It might be too broken. But I kept my shotgun, because it could come in handy. And I kept my sniper, even though I'm almost certainly not going to use it, just because it's probably not really worth much. Weapons don't seem to be worth much to sell. So there's not much of a point. But, uh, yeah, I sold all of the other weapons. Which, honestly, I think there might have only been, like, one other weapon, so I guess it didn't sell much at all. But I also sold all of the ammo. Every single bit of ammo that I do not use, aside from the grenades, I sold. Because I realized it's just stockpiling there. And chances are, I'm almost never going to use it. And if I do need to use it, I can just buy some. It, it's, it wasn't worth stockpiling it. I sold a bunch of hides that I don't need. The really crappy ones. Uh, yeah, basically, I sold a shit ton of stuff. And as a result, it's now nearly doubled my money. I'm not sure what I was at before. I think I've gained 80,000, roughly. But I'm almost at 200,000 rue. So, that's nice. I'm pretty freaking loaded, actually. I'm going to have to buy stuff soon. But I'm going to save that for later. I'll explore getting new armor later, and getting a new weapon later. But for now, here's my short-term goals. Okay, so one of the things I've been wondering how to do, I have this quest here. Um, investigate the area using an improved detector. That's the Svarog detector. Only thing is, I wasn't sure how to get the Svarog. But now I know. Somebody told me in the comments. You get it by doing this quest. The bring three velis or ve whatever, however you pronounce it. Bring three of those detectors to the scientists. Which I now have. I have the original one that I got from Beard. I have one that I got from... Uh, where did I get it from? Reward? Looted it? I'm not sure. And the third one, I just outright bought. So now it's time to go do that. However, you don't get the detector right away. No, unfortunately you don't... Oh, shit. I didn't realize it was nighttime. <clears throat> unfortunately, you don't get the detector right away. You have to go all the way back to Skadovsk, to Owl, to finish up the quest. So there's going to be a bit of travel involved, but it shouldn't take too long, especially now that I know that once you go here, you automatically teleport right to Skadovsk, which is very handy. Also, I learned something else. Let me make sure I'm going the right way. I am. As someone in the comments also told me, apparently, my suit has night vision. It is. It is. It has had night vision the entire time. I have had night vision this entire time, and never knew it. Yes. However, far from being embarrassed, I really don't feel embarrassed about that at all, because there's no way I could have reasonably known. Because I read this. I read that after learning that, I read the entire description in every little tiny bit. Nowhere. Absolutely nowhere does it say that it has night vision. Blah blah blah, chemical protection suit specifically designed for the zone. Mm-hmm. Integrated air filtering and conditioning system. Uh-huh. It also features a so-called anomaly suppression system. Mm-hmm. Not fit for combat purposes. It provides neither bullet nor splinter protection. Includes a two two compartment armor attachment module. Properties. Medium closed respiratory outfit. That's it. It does not say that it has night vision, yet for some reason it does. Very strange that it wouldn't mention it. However, um... I'm not sure if it's really that much of a game changer, to be honest. Might think that, you know, it, it made traveling around at nighttime much easier, but... Eh, I'm not so sure, because it actually eats batteries like crazy. I had full, I had pretty much full battery power, and I used the night vision just going from the bunker back to Yanov. So just I just walked from here to here, and it ate through 
Whoops, wrong key. It ate through uh, one bar of my battery power. So, it, I don't think I'm going to want to use it. Except in very... Something just blew up. Except in very limited situations involving, like, underground dark bunkers or, you know, combat situations. But for general travel, no. I don't think so. Alright, who do I get this stuff to? You? There you go. Alright, tempting business, wait until Owl gets the detectors. Alright, gotta wait for him. Do work for Owl. No, he helped me get something the other day, a favor for a favor. Hmm. 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 You know, I wonder what kind of modifications he can do. I mean, I know he can't really modify my current armor. But I wonder if he can modify the other suit. The more expensive one that I was thinking about buying before. Yeah, I mean, like this one he can't do anything, but actually, hold on. I'm curious, because I think this guy sells the suit that is Seba. I wonder if I can make crazy modifications to it. Hold on. I need to know. That's 75. 85. Wait, no, hold on. There's fat bacon! I never saw that before! Look at that! Did they see me? No. No, I'm okay. Oh, radiation. Mm. Oh, it tastes so good. Mm. Yes. Don't look at me, I'm ashamed! I'm gonna reload anyway, so it doesn't matter. I just want to see if he can uh, modify the suit. Whoa! Hello! Proceeding modifications required. I was a little bit iffy about the, uh, the Seva bodysuit. But, I'm coming around to it. It's expensive. It is expensive. And it only has two slots. Whereas my other one has five. But, suit durability plus five. How much does this cost? Seven, like 7,000? That's not much. Well, it's a pretty good upgrade. Side protection plus 15%. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Ergonom plus 50. What? <laughs> what? What the hell does Ergonom plus 50 mean? I have literally not even the slightest clue what that means. Okay, ionized air particles. Creating an ion wind. Uh, okay. No thanks, I'm pretty sure I have enough ergonoms for now. So let's see where these lead, and why can't I do this? Can't perform this modification. Hmm. I wonder why, it doesn't say he's lacking tools. Is there someone else who can? Alright, so so far the stuff he can do to it is just protection. See, this is the stuff I really want though, number of armor attachment modules. Ergonom plus 52. So there's a plus one and there's a plus one. Whoa. You can carry 10 more kilograms. Ooh. Ooh. That's probably more valuable than the extra attachment module, because honestly, I'd probably just use the extra attachment module to put on these frames, which only give you about four more kilograms, and this gives you 10. But who can do this stuff? I wonder. Or maybe it's just the suit. I don't know. Either way, I don't want to do it now. Good to keep in mind, though. So yeah, somebody was telling me that the combination of the Seva suit and the... I think it was the Gravi... Um, the Gravi artifact can be very nice. I'm not gonna, like, evaluate that, though, until I actually have the artifact. It could be quite a while until I find one. I've probably found one in the past already and just sold it. But yeah, once I get that, I'll look into it and see what effects it has and start looking at the suit. But for now, I'm just going to stick with what I have.
Yeah, I mean, here, I'll use the night vision. So it's only one bar down of power. And let's use it on the way back. Ah, it's so much easier to see, isn't it? You can even combo the flashlight and the night vision if you want to suck a lot of battery power. I wonder how much better this far AUG actually is. To be honest, my current one, like, the only complaint I have with my current one is just that, uh, it could have a longer range. That's pretty much it. I mean, what else could it be missing? It, uh, it sees every artifact. Well, every artifact known to science. Maybe there's a special one over here. The cooling tower. Is it the cooling tower? Yeah, it's a cooling tower. Alright, let's see how much battery power that used. Hmm, it's weird. Maybe it doesn't eat up as much as I thought. Didn't even use up another bar. I'll keep trying it. We got an extra battery. Batteries aren't really expensive now. They were at the beginning of the game, but not so much now. Um, need to wait for Al, right? God, I got so many quests. What the hell is it? Is it... Is it here? Oh, here it is. Yeah. So... I'm good on supplies. Yeah, let's just head over there. Short little jog? I need to eat some food. Any cheap food? Heavy food? No. MRE. Yeah, I'll try using my night vision on the way there. So, this way. Mm -hmm. Should be a quick jog over there, and then I get teleported to Skadovsk. Hey guys, what's going on? Is that a party? Can I join? You better not be bandits. Nah, you're not bandits. You would have shot me already. <laughs> that is a great name. Max Cynic. Max Cynic. Freedom! Чувак, иди вон лучше с главным пообщайся. Oh yeah, I also bought a bunch of ammo from the medic guy. So that's why I have like 259 shots of that. And 76 armor piercing. I'm trying to, uh... I'm trying to prep for the Jupiter mission. We're going to Jupiter. At some point. N certainly not in this episode. Oh yes, some other stuff I've done. Somebody was telling me about... Uh, somebody linked me to uh, a thread that contains a bunch of small fixes for Misery. This is uh, Misery 2.1 Beta. It's not the finished version, so... They have, of course, discovered a bunch of small bugs. And there's a bunch of small fixes for them. So I installed a bunch of those. So I should improve general stuff. You know, fix some crash to desktop stuff. and I don't know if it improves performance or anything like that, but... It, I would say it can hurt. That's not true. It, it could, but it probably won't hurt. Hey, fleshies. Oh, God. Yeah, I think I'm going to run. It's okay. I can run forever. Well, maybe not forever. Hmm. I'm a little bit scared. Okay, I'm good. How's my battery power? Alright, so I'm down through... Yeah, I'm through another bar. It's not hellacious battery usage. It's certainly a lot more than the flashlight, but it's not bad. And again, batteries are pretty cheap. I think it's, what's it, like 1500 for a military battery? Which is basically 100% charge.
That was weird. I'm not sure if you're stuck in the same frame as I am, but... Right when I pressed yes... There you go, now it's to the loading screen. Right when I pressed yes, it, like, teleported me to the roof of a building. Right before the loading screen showed up. How strange. I wonder what that was about. Alright, let's see if he's gotten him in yet. I might have to sleep. Здравствуй, stalker. Wait for him to finish working with the detectors and then find out about the results from Al. Okay. So, I probably just need to sleep. Let's go ahead and do that. What time is it? A little bit past midnight. Sleep until eh, 4 a.m. I'll go to 5. Okay. Oh, fuck, was there a trick to this? It doesn't seem to be working. So Just sleeping, I mean. Mm hmm. I, I can't remember if it was something to do with this quest or a different quest, where you're supposed to, like, move a certain distance away. Is that another goddamn emission? Ah, I see people running, so I think it is. Eat some food. Sleep. Uh, find shelter. I've got a minute. I've got a minute to see if we're running away. Oh, there we go. See? Uh, either I just got really lucky with the time, or I just had to move away from the ship. See? Everything's fine. Now I just need to get my ass indoors before I die. Okay. Everything's good. No, удачи тебе. Going through this MRE a lot faster than I'd like. The shit. All right, give me my shit. I don't care about what you're saying. Just give me my shit. Convince Beard to stick to the agreement. <sighs> Beard, after all the shit I've done for you, wiping out that freaking lair, you better help me out here. Ah, Svarok detector prototype. Thank you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you're working for him, you can take back the third detector. I'm not buying it. <laughs> Mission update attempting business demand a cut from Owl. Wait, what is this? Tell me about the compass. Hold on. Hmm. If you're looking to make a good buck, I can give you a head start in the artifact hunt. Two, three hours. Enough to beat all the others. Plus, if you're interested, I've got a special order. I originally need an artifact called Compass. You seem motivated enough, so why the hell should I give you a chance? Hmm. Okay. What about the Compass? The artifact is a stuff of legends. They say the Compass has no harmful side effects, and if used wisely, can you lead you out of any anomaly. Whoa. Just the other day, someone told me that Noah knows something about it. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> In the meantime, how about some mushroom tea? Uh, I'll pay Noah a visit, but no thanks to the mushroom tea. I don't feel like getting high. Compass, locate Noah and find out where you get the rare artifact. Not the first option. I'm not going out there. Find someone else. I can't dive in the shit for you each time you need a trinket. Yeah, let's not do that. Uh, what do you need? Bubble, flame. Bubble? Aw, that sounds like an adorable artifact. It'd be extra adorable if it wasn't for the horrible radiation that I'm sure it gives you. I was just gonna, like, pay the guy to get me back to, uh, Yanov, but... Now this Noah thing. A super rare artifact. Hell yeah. Uh, am I good? Can I leave? Nope, there we go. Let's go. What the hell? Some weird lighting. 
It's like bars of light. It literally looks like bars, like it's like ethereal wooden boards trying to block the door. Man, the lighting in the Stalker games has always been so good. Look at that, just look at that. Let's go pay a visit to Noah. See if he knows a thing or two about the compass. I'm just gonna stop now. That was a terrible pun. Oh yeah, I should. Oh yeah, Swarog. <laughs> just realized I have the Swarog. Mm, program used to identify static areas of anomalous activity stored in its database. Okay, what does that mean? The position of anomalous areas and artifacts is displayed on a special screen. It has been modified to detect anomalous formations currently unknown to science. Okay, so it detects more stuff and it sounds like it might show me where anomalies are as opposed to just artifacts, maybe? Or something. I don't know, the display looks the same. That's what I had before. You know, I hope Noah's actually back here. Because a while ago he was stuck in that jump loop. And last time I was where I saw him doing the jump loop, he wasn't there anymore, but I've never actually been back to the barge to see whether he's returned. And one of the small fixes that I used was actually to fix that bug, but the problem is it was only confirmed to actually work if you used it before you got stuck in the loop. Which obviously this is after, so I don't know. I'm going to be really sad if I can't complete this quest because he's not there. I never thought I'd say this, but I really hope when I try to open that door, someone tries to shoot my face off. Knock, knock. Ah, that's exactly what I wanted to see. I've never been so glad to see you, you crazy fuck. Hmm, come with artifact. What the fuck? He just gave it to me? I thought he was gonna tell me where it was. He just... G g d d what? Thanks. That's done. I was expecting, like, a crazy quest. Um, Yeah, I don't have a container for that, so I think I'm gonna fucking sprint back. Oh my god. How radioactive- Oh my god! Fucking hell! Run! Beard, 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 beard. Can I, like, drop it on the ground and, like, tow it behind me on a piece of rope or something? So much fucking radiation! Uh, 39 per second. Can I radio ahead and say, like, Doctor, you got a hot one coming in? And aside from being stunningly hot, I also have a lot of radiation. Why don't I have a container on me? God damn it, I forgot to take him. I should always have them on me. I mean, I wasn't expecting to artifact hunt, but still, I should always have one. Yeah, I'll be fine. I have radiation drugs. I'm fine. I'm not worried about it. That third arm that just sprouted up, it's nothing. Don't worry, it'll go away. Just take some... take some Advil. Yes, okay. Um... Do I want to give it to Beard? Hold on, what does it actually do? It's supposed to have no negative effects, that's bullshit. <gasps> Stamina recovery plus 75%? Okay, uh, am I- like, if I give it to him, is he gonna take it forever? Okay, let's see what he gives me. Okay, 
Okay, so it gives me 1100. Okay, so you do lose it. Okay, uh... It sounds like something I really, really want. Because the stamina recovery is fucking insane. But I don't know if any of the stuff, any of the containers will actually contain it. It was 39, right? What does the best container do? Okay, or six. This is the medium tier. I don't think the best one will do it. Like, it's 612, and the next one up is probably what, 24? Is this it? 22. Y yeah, I mean. It won't work. Serious question, though. Does the artifact need to be inside it? Logic would say yes, but just literally reading what it says, I would say no. Just reading the stats, it just says a straight minus 22 per second. Is that just a property that applies to only the thing inside of it, or does it just apply it to you? Because if I can take that artifact and just have, like, two really good artifact containers on me, I would totally do that, because it would make my stamina amazing. Wait, let's put this thing on. Wait, that's all it raises it? I... I do not understand how the stamina system works. Plus 75%. Shouldn't that raise us to, like, 75%? I mean, it's still really, really good. But... It even gives damage protection equivalent of 36 Kevlar sheets. Hmm. Nope. Alright, let me buy some of these things and see how they work. I will take that, and what is that? Oh, that's a shitty one. I don't want the shitty one. Hey, where's the better ones? They're gone now. How rude. Fine, we'll take a, take a shitty one. Whatever. Now wants me to go back to Noah. Alright, so I'm suffering suffering horrible radiation now. Yeah, so the radiation it's giving off is the remaining radiation, I guess. Ah, fuck. It's probably not worth it, right? It doesn't really seem doable. Is there any way to make that work? to sell it something that could be such an incredibly valuable artifact, but it doesn't seem usable in any reasonable way. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. I don't need the money. But it could potentially be useful. I'm, I'm gonna have to research it. No, что? Есть что-то новое? All right, let me get the doc to patch me up. How's the doctor? Ah, here he is. Stodom, right? I think. Yes. Um. Yeah, just just the radiation. That's it? That easy? Okay, cool. <laughs> you know, I just realized. I just put that incredibly radioactive artifact in just a standard metal container that isn't even meant for containing artifacts, which means, like, it's just blasting radiation around this entire ship and everybody on board is fucked. I'm such a nice guy. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't need to give it to Beard. It gives me an achievement. I'm not quite sure what that gives me. I don't remember. Maybe better prices or something. But I've got this Farog. I'm good to go. Alright, since I've got tons of money and I'm lazy, I want you to take me back. I'm not missing anything, am I? No, I'm good. It's <laughs> such a waste of money. I don't care. Actually, I kind of care. I care a little bit, but my lack of wanting to make that run all the way overrides it. So, it's worth it, I think. Now it's time to put this thing to use, the Svarog. So first thing, cooling tower, right? Yeah, you know what, let's go, um... Let's go place the scanner there. While I'm doing scannerly stuff. The last one. Got it stowed away down here. Somewhere. Here it is. Keep one of these on me, of course. So yeah, what I've got stored away in here is the battery, which I might want to use. Maybe. It's plus 19%, which is better than the Camelbacks. And then this meat chunk, which is half of the quest for the guy at the scientist's bunker. I just need to call a walk, and then I'm good. Should probably eat again. What time is it? It's midday. I'll eat. And there's my entire stockpile of food that I thought would last me an extremely long time, but it didn't. Surprise! So let's go place the scanner first, and then hit the cooling towers on the way back. I think there were bloodsuckers at the cooling towers last time I was there, right? Or last time I was in the area. I don't think I actually went to the towers, but I went by them. Yeah, I went by them on my way to the ash heap. In fact, it's right here that I saw the bloodsuckers. I think they were attacking an animal or something and then I never saw them again. I'm getting really paranoid now. It's probably best if I walk through the water. Because then I can actually hear and see them. Oh, hello. Okay, so it is actually showing me the anomalies, isn't it? Not just the artifacts. Yes. And... What the hell is that? There's a thing that's like... Right... Whoa! Jesus! The fuck is that? Whoa! What the fuck is that? I thought something was about to attack me. <laughs> like, I was thinking, is it showing me about Poltergeist or something? Is that? Mama's beads. It doesn't seem like something I would want to use, but that might be really valuable. God, there's some cool artifacts out there, shaped like a DNA DNA helix. 
created in the burner anomaly. They constantly pulsate, generating emissions beneficial to the human body. Increase the metabolism. Right, so this thing allows you to get artifacts. It allows you to detect artifacts previously unknown to science. Fucking awesome. Right, so I don't need to throw bolts to see where these things are. You know, it disturbs me to do this. Because I'm so used to throwing bolts to figure out where the geysers are. But I don't need to. I can just use this thing. I'm paying very close attention to it. Well, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. The stepping in flames and the cracking of my visor were both not very good things, but it's actually fine. It's not even below 85%. Patch that right up. And everything is good. Okay. Well, it gives me a good reason to revisit places that I've been before to look for new artifacts. Let's go to the cooling towers. So one other thing that I've learned is that the, the Kevlar sheet giving things, whether you whether you actually buy a Kevlar sheet or you just have like a an artifact that just gives you Kevlar, uh, the equivalent of Kevlar protection. One of the things it does is it actually makes it harder uh, it, whoa. What the hell? Um, it actually makes it harder for your suit to get damaged. It actually increases its durability. Aside from, I think, also protecting you directly. I think. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, if I put on some Kevlar sheet stuff, it actually would make my suit more durable. Which might make it actually feasible to use in combat, maybe. It depends how much it actually protects it. Because when it just says, like, the equivalent of 36 Kevlar sheets, I don't know what the hell that means. Like, okay, so what? Is my suit going to take half the damage it took before, or what? There's, like, nothing to compare it against. Uh, didn't realize this place was occupied. It looks like... Freedom or duty, I guess. Or bandits? If they're bandits, let's see if they're bandits. Let's see if they shoot me. Friendly, don't shoot. I'll give you beans. You want beans? Nah, they're friendly. All right, unusual activity. It's a very vague thing. Hi. Whoa. What the fuck? Find a way out. Help, we're running low on... I think I better save it. Already encountering some unusual activity. Whoa. I think I found the source of the unusual activity. Yep. So it looks like one of those teleporter anomalies. Question is, where is it going to take me? Scared. What is happening? Hmm. 
What the fuck? I guess there's nothing to be scared of. It's like a delayed... A delayed radio transmission that I was hearing from the past, or... Or maybe that was current, but then they just teleported and died. I don't know. It's like they're caught up in some crazy sort of time vortex thing. I was actually going to jump straight down there because I'm lazy. Let's not break my legs. The zone is a very strange place. People losing years of their life. People teleporting randomly. People are decked out. Duty. I'm guessing these guns are all broken, right? Whoa, whoa. They're not? They're pristine. Holy shit. They don't look like particularly good weapons, but they're pristine. Okay, stop sliding, that's kind of creepy. Please stop. Thank you. It's weird the weapons on them are not, but the weapons they dropped around them were. That thing looks fancy. Nikonov, Nikonov, or something like that, AN-94 camouflaged. What a strange thing. Feel bad for them, poor guys. I don't even think they know what happened to them, and I certainly don't. There's gotta be a stash around here. There's always a stash. At any major location, it seems like. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. It could be around up there. Up where the dudes were walking. I wonder. I wonder if that explodes. It might. I don't want the duty guys to think I'm trying to shoot them, though, so I think I'll avoid shooting it. As much as curiosity is screaming at me to do it. Okay, so, yeah, do I need to take the information I just learned? Let's see. I don't see it saying to, like, go talk to the scientists again. No, it doesn't seem to. Huh. I guess that's it. Must have been just a roving band of bloodsuckers that I saw here before, because they definitely were not here. So let's just go back and sort through this loot. Whoa, are those bandits? Nah, I see red. I think it's, what, duty? Is it duty that wears red or freedom? I don't know. Who cares? I don't care about no damn outfits. You shoot me, I shoot you. You don't shoot me, I don't shoot you. Simple as that. Go, commander. 
Yep, it's duty. These weapons are most likely not any better than what I have. But let's find out. So, stuff gets compared to what's in the right slot, so let's look at this. More accurate, less handling, less damage. Hmm. Hmm. Do I need more accuracy? Wouldn't hurt. What about this? Okay, that's just better in almost every way. Not by much. Just slightly better, except a little bit less damage. And that's just pretty crappy. Right, so it's a stubby thing, so low accuracy, low damage, but high fire rate. Of course, it's more SMG-esque. Yeah, it's for tight quarters. Close combat. Hmm. So if I wanted to use one, it'd be this one. It's relatively light, too. It's actually really damn light. Well, actually, this one's really heavy because of all the attachments. Scope is usable after upgrade. Hmm. Do they use the same scopes? PSO series scopes, PSO series scopes. Yeah, it's not really enough of an upgrade for me to care. I'm just gonna sell them. Go sell them to the dock. Что-то ты бледный. Wait, what? Wait, I have two of these? Oh. Thought I had one. Holy shit. Normally weapons are not worth much, but damn. Damn. Holy shit. 50,000. Just from the weapons and the ammo. Wow. Don't need that many grenades. Holy crap. I have too much money. Maybe we should buy one of these. Hmm. Look at the accuracy on that. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Only got a magazine size of 20, though. Hmm. Holy shit, that was just better in every way. God, I want a new weapon. I mean, this thing's serving me fine, but... I've been using it so long, I just feel like I should use something new. But I'll figure that out later. Let me go dump a couple things. I'm gonna go take a dump, don't look. Did I see something teleport? I could have sworn I just saw somebody, like, teleport into the center of the room. Weird. Whatever, it's a ghost. <laughs> Drug making kit. As always. Oh yeah, mama's beads. Need to sell that to the scientists, actually. I'll do that later. Aloha! <laughs> Have some drug making kits. Actually, make that singular, not plural. For it is only one. Anyway. I am going. No, where's a zero? No, pull at the keyboard. Now I can see. There we go. Success. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode here relatively early. Unfortunately, college has started back up, so I don't have as much time to play as much as I'd like to. I did consider maybe dropping out just so I could play Stalker full-time, but I figured it's probably a bad idea in the long term, so I don't think I'm going to do that. So, I'll certainly still be playing, but they might not be every single day as they were before, or maybe they will be, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon where I will do what? I guess? 
Hell, probably the next thing to do is go to the Jupiter plant. I think so. Yeah, so next time I am going to hit up the Jupiter plant. I'm excited and a bit scared too. It's so big. Alright, well, I'll be back soon.